guys are going to like. Um, 2008. Pepsi has a product called Amp. It's an energy drink. And they, uh, they wanted to make a social network play. So they came up with an iPhone app. It was called uh, Amp Up Before You Score. And this was clearly the maximum reading, probably 18 to 24 year old male. And the app had caricatures of 24 different kinds of women, ranging from like Cougar to uh, like library girl, things like that. And you would select the kind of woman that you were interested in. And the app would then suggest to you places to take her, I think there was a location-based aspect to it as well, places to take her, pick up lines to use, bars to take her. And the most interesting part was that if you did, I'm just using the parlance of the campaign score, you could discuss it the next presumably day or a few hours later, whatever, um, on their Facebook page, and they would then tweet about your success <laughs> with the whole thing. Um, now, it didn't take too long for people outside of the targeted demographic took umbrage with the campaign and um, started tweeting about it, writing about it. They said, stupid, sexy, defensive to everyone. Bad, bad, bad. Now, it's kind of a funny response. The Ampers put out something. They put out their own tweet because there was a hashtag for it that said, pound Pepsi fail. And that had gotten more traction than their hashtag, whatever that was. I think their hashtag was winning. Winning, yes. <laughs> And maybe Charlie Sheen was the creative consultant. <laughs> I, I don't know. But, um, oh, by the way, the hashtag for this event is Pound Big Frontier. Um, this campaign was, of course, yanked like all the others in this, in this series. Uh, they tried to say that they were showing the considerable lengths that guys went to to get women, and it was actually in fun not to be taken seriously. Of course, that by the news to all the developers and coders and marketers and everybody else involved with putting the campaign together that they really weren't doing it seriously. But that was that was Pepsi's uh, little segue into, into uh, social marketing. Any comments on this? Yeah, you know, I mean, are they surprised they pissed off Martha Burke? Um, and two, but what was the traction within the community, the ant community, of the, they're speaking to a small group of people. So what was the participation there versus listening to the folks outside their target. What was the traction within the AMP community? I think the product is still on the market. Um, the campaign itself was yanked, as were, again, all these campaigns. I don't know, you know, sometimes when you ask, when, you, when you're looking for, you know, the story behind the story, agencies and companies are not really known for transparency unless the transparency is something positive, and then you'll hear all about it. But in an instance like this, we didn't hear Amp sales went through the roof as a result of this campaign. All we heard was it was a joke and he took it seriously. That's, that's the, the evidence we have to go on. So, yeah, I mean, there's nice. Yes, yes. Yes. Agency got canned was on the ropes. Uh, so that's probably not a good sign. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. First line of defense is that it's just a joke. The thing is, a lot of these campaigns in a perfect world would probably work and be very effective. But unfortunately, many of these campaigns are conducted in a big world with a lot of people having a lot of different opinions. And when that happens, you, you really can't assume that something you do over here isn't going to have a ripple effect and you know, cause you to be popped out of the pond.